The following tutorial is going to take you through how you correctly log a subordination into an Encompass application. Um, in this example, you can see Jim and Pam test. If you look up here at the top, uh, they have a loan to value that's below 80%. Um, now, that loan to value is going to be based on the fact that if you go to 1003 page 2, and you scroll down, the customer does have two mortgages though, a first mortgage and a home equity line. We're doing a loan for 160000 That's going to pay off this first mortgage here. That mortgage is being marked as paid. Uh, and if you look, that customer, if we go to page three and show all VOM, you'll see their primary residence here does have $175,000 in liens. Both of those are attached to that primary residence. So we need to account for that second mortgage. On 1003 page two, we have to do a subordination and essentially move this back into the second position after we close our first mortgage. Uh, in order to accurately reflect that on Encompass, there's three places that you need to make sure you have it correctly marked. Uh, the first one is gonna be on borrower summary origination right here. You're going to scroll down. Under lien position, you'll see an option here for subordinate financing. Uh, when you click that, it opens up what the first mortgage new balance is going to be. As you can see, we're doing a loan for 160000 That's what the new mortgage will be. And it has second mortgage is blank currently. Uh, what you need to do is you need to put the balance of any fixed term second mortgages or the limit of any home equity lines uh, in this position. Uh, so if the customer has a second mortgage that has a $25,000 balance and a $40,000 limit, uh, this would not be $25,000, this would be $40,000 uh, to cover the limit of that. Now, the mortgage we're dealing with does have a $25,000 balance and a $25,000 limit, so we're going to put $25,000 in there as the subordinated second mortgage and hit OK. We then need to go to page two, uh, 1003 page two, down here to the second mortgage, and we need to mark this liability as being subordinated. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to go to show all VOL. We're going to click on the second mortgage to bring up that second mortgage information. And if we scroll down, it gives us the option to check resubordinated, resubordinated indicator. Uh, what that means is that this is going to end up continuing to stay in that second mortgage position, and it's planning on being subordinated. So we're going to click that check mark right there to mark that bill as being resubordinated. The last place that we need to go is on 1003, page 3. You'll see now you have $25,000 listed here under J subordinate financing. Uh, if you look down here to cash to borrower, essentially what this is the system is doing is saying that that is going to be a new loan that we're giving the borrower for $25,000 in the second mortgage position. We want to delete that out and show that that is not going to be cash out to the borrower. It's an existing lien. There's no new money going to the borrower. Um, so again, the three places that you need to adjust for a subordination borrower summary origination under the sub financing here page 2 show all VOL and check the box for resubordinated indicator in page 3 make sure under subordinate financing J that there is no dollar amount listed there uh, if you've done it correctly, you should now see a loan to value at the top. That's that first mortgage of 79% loan to value. But now the combined loan to value, the CLTV, is now the 92% CLTV. Uh, so if you've done this correctly, uh, you now have that second mortgage as being subordinated, and you can proceed with your application the right way.